Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Endless Runner Unity tutorial series. Uh, so previously we've been looking at uh, doing power-ups, and there's one little uh, issue with our power-ups at the moment that we uh, just need to fix to make sure that everything about our power-ups is working okay. And obviously the way we've built our power-ups, as I talked about before, you can, there, the idea is that you can do lots of different stuff, whatever you want. But at the moment, if we start the game here, and start running. Uh, we still have our power up set to be lasting a long time. So if we kill ourselves, that power up we picked up gets rid of all the spikes, but it's still getting rid of all the spikes we have. Actually, we need to make sure that that's definitely happening. Uh, there's no point in assuming that it's happening because our spikes are still only randomly appearing some of the times. So if we put that at 100, um, obviously we haven't changed anything to make this not happen like this anyway. Uh, okay, I'm just killing myself now. We need some blue ones so we can stop getting killed. Oh. This is the problem with randomly generated stuff. You can't rely on uh, what you want coming out. Uh, we're just getting a lot of these green guys now. Okay, what I'm just going to do for the purposes of demonstrating. I'm going to let him die. Oop. This is not <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, this this one here. We're gonna grab this this uh, power up, uh, and instead of being a double point one, we'll make it safe. So as you can see, the spikes are being generated ahead of us on every single platform. But if we collect this one, or if we don't, uh, apparently I'm just not very good. Oh, wait, what am I doing? The the score timer is should be no. Hold on. We'll do the same thing again, but this time I'll try and catch one a little bit more sensibly. There was a blue one there, but I didn't manage to catch it. Hold on. Here we go. This guy here. Okay, so the spikes are all gone. If we restart, what's happening is the spikes are still not appearing for the full 10 second timer that we have. Which is obviously not what we want to happen. This is not the way we want our game to be running. So we need to have a way to reset whenever the power up or sorry, whenever the player gets killed, that our power-ups are reset and they're no longer uh, coming into effect. Uh, so, what we need to do is go into... Um, we need to ha open up our power-up manager and also our game manager. So we'll just open the two of them up. In mono develop, give them a second to open up here. Here we go. Okay. So we've got our game manager, we've got our power-up manager. And so when our player is killed, it does all these little bits of code here that will uh, reset the player back to the start and stuff like that. So what we need is an extra variable that will reset uh, our power-ups. And basically, what the way we're going to do is just by adding a, a simple little bool into our game manager. So here we're just going to add public bool power-up power reset and essentially all we're going to do is when our reset function is called back to start the game again at the end of that we're just going to say uh, power up reset is equal to true so we'll save that so now we have a variable that can be um, set so obviously here we're setting it to true but we're not setting it to false anywhere but that's what we're going to do from our power up manager so we have our true statement here so then we know when the player gets killed okay our power up reset is true so then in our power up manager we're already um no we're not making a reference to the game manager in here so we need to add that in as another uh, var variable in our power up manager so much like we've done for our platform destroy our platform generator our score manager stuff like that we're going to do private game manager uh, and call it the game manager and i'll just copy that up so it's below the other similar systems that we have up here and then again in our start function we need to find the game manager that is in the game so that we don't have to hook it up every time uh, and then here we said game manager is equal to find object of type game manager just like that perfect okay so now we know where our game manager is and now basically all we need to do is in our update function 
what we need to say okay so if the power up is active the current power up we we know what's going on um but what you want to say is we want to know it, what's going on with the uh with the game manager so basically what we'll say is if um If uh, put it in here, we we'll put yeah. So we we'll put it before all the other stuff starts running. So we don't want it to keep making the points be doubled and all this other kind of stuff. Well, what we'll say is, if the game manager dot power up reset is true. So if the power up reset function is true, basically what we want to say is, okay, if that's true, we don't want our power up to be active any longer. And the way we can make sure that our power up isn't active any longer is we can say, uh, sorry, power up, our power up length counter, we can set that to be zero. So then our power up length counter is equal to zero. So that way it'll run through this, all this stuff here one for one more frame, but that won't really matter. That'll be so fast you won't even notice that happening. Um, but we will have, uh, once it finishes running through this one time, It'll get to this section here and say if our encounter is less than or equal to zero, okay, everything else doesn't apply anymore. So then here we will also say we, we want to make sure that our in our game manager that our power up reset isn't set true set to true the whole time. So basically we'll just say, okay, now that we've know that our power up reset was true and we've set our counter down to zero, now we can set it back to false so that uh, it doesn't keep uh, resetting all our power up. So if we pick up another one, it won't uh, just set it back to zero and then not be able to run at all. So the game manager dot power up reset is equal to false. So we're going to save that. And then if we pop back in here, we should see if we play. Let's finish the compiling. So now, for example, now we collect that. See, now we're getting a hold of the blue ones. But we kill ourselves, and we can see the spikes are now reappearing. So we collect that one, kill ourselves, and we've got the spikes back again, which is just what we wanted. That's exactly how we wanted our games to work. So that's perfect. Um, so I was, I thought a second ago, I noticed something a little bit weird with our power up. Uh, so I'm just going to open up our power up script over here. And then our power up manager. So in our power up manager, our, our points per second is being doubled. So that's definitely working fine. Maybe I was just, um, looking at it slightly wrong or something. Uh, I just want to make sure we can set our power up selector so that double points is the only one that's going to happen. So I'm just going to make sure that only zero is being uh, randomly selected. And then we're going to play again. And I just want to watch the speed of the score here. I thought we were, I thought maybe we were having, oh, that's being compiled so we're, it's doing something wrong. Okay, so our thing is, so look at how fast our speed is going up. No, it's going up. No, it was going up faster. That's okay. I, I thought there was something strange happening. Maybe it was just the way we were looking at it. So yeah, no. Okay. So pretty much the power-ups are working exactly the way we want them to. So like I said, you can mess with the power-ups yourselves. You can add like different abilities. If you wanted your score to stop going up when you collected the power-up to be a bad one or something, you could easily do that in much the same way. If you wanted uh, more platforms to be generated, you could have them... Uh, have the threshold be closer or something like that. It's all it's very kind of malleable and uh, easy to fiddle around with it and do it your own kind of way. So yeah, our power ups are finished. So in the next episode of the series, we'll look and move on to doing some more interesting stuff in our endless runner game. Although at the moment our game is essentially basically there. Um, you have some power ups to give some incentive to the player. You have a basic score system. Um, 
and you have a way of storing a high score so that the player has something some kind of challenge for them to beat every single time so essentially this game is complete anything else we add to the game will just be purely to make it more fun or to make it a bit more variable or a bit more interesting but at this stage in the game we have essentially a fully working game that does everything that we wanted to do obviously it's a pretty basic looking game it's not exactly uh, crazily exciting but that's what happens when you start adding in your own visuals and things like that that's what makes different kind of games stand out a lot is about the visuals the sound you use it's not just about the inherent systems in the game if you look at a lot of mobile phone games that are done as endless runners and stuff you'll see that like at the core they're very basic but it's about um, kind of wowing the player and making them interested in the game but yeah so that's uh, that's it for this episode thanks for watching I will be back soon with some more Endless Runner Unity goodness thanks for watching and goodbye thanks for checking out this episode and if you want even more games plus James goodness make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons you can also find me on Twitter and Facebook by following the links on screen where you can find out all the latest news about the channel and if you want to help support the show, check out the Patreon page where you can get exclusive content in return for helping make the channel even better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.